guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nathan Nice, for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video. And I post the videos every Wednesday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. And I do that through Bible studies, book reviews, discussions, and more. So today's video is an unboxing, like the title says above, for the Delilah box. This is the December Delilah box, and I'm so, 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 so excited. If you guys don't know what the Delilah box is, click the I to go to my playlist where you can see all of my unboxings where I talk in depth about the company if you want more information just click the description box down below to go and see what the what the box is all about as well as the links to the instagram page for the delilah, the delilah box <laughs> excuse me and to go to the website i am excited i'm not even gonna like spend too much time doing the intro just because it smells good this box smells good so she alternates taylor is the founder of the delilah box and um she alternates between a bag which is hand sewn and a box so last month if you haven't seen that unboxing for november click the i to go watch that but for november we got a bag so december is a box and i love these boxes so much they are so cute i love the floral print so much so we have a box it smells so delicious okay you guys can see what it looks like first okay Ooh. okay all right okay so on top i have a pen um i have another i already have i think two of these pens and i keep all of her pens together um in her one of her other boxes so this one is the grace and delilah home of the delilah box pen and if i'm not mistaken this is a gel pen you also get a notepad which i use these a lot um i have so many of them but they get used seriously so let me just quickly write so you guys can see how the pen writes okay so it is a gel pen and it writes pretty fine the nib i'm not sure what the point size is but it is a pretty nice nib so i like that so always an essential to have a notepad and pen you always need one at least i do i take notes everywhere um you have this bookmark here you have two bookmarks actually so this one says matthew 5 16 in the same way let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your father in heaven and it's a cross i'm definitely going to laminate this and then i'm um, repunch it to stick the tassel and then we have this one, which is for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, John 316. And then on the back, it has 316 to 17 in the ESV translation, along with um, verse 36. And then it has 2 Timothy 316. Let me just zoom in. Don't look at me. Look at the bookmark. There we go. So I, I love bookmarks. I, I think bookmarks are amazing. You can actually add these into your Bibles if you want. You can put them in your journals. I use them for reading, so I'm going to laminate that as well. Um, and then what smells delicious are these two candles. So there are two candles in here, um, and I know it's this one that smells good. So this one is called River North. Is it going to focus on that? It says River North, so... It's really like a watery scent, but I'm picking more of that other scent from this one because it's so strong. So I'm going to let that one sit for a second to really get the scent. But this one is called Sugar Cookie. Yeah, this one is Sugar Cookie. And it smells like a sugar cookie. Like, oh my god. It smells like warm vanilla dough. It smells so good. It smells so good. I love that. So we have those two candles. Um, And I'm just going to stick this to the side. We have some peppermints here, mini peppermints. So we have this one and that one. We have this little thingy here with tea in it. And I love me some tea. So I'm going to open this up. I love tea. Um, I've always loved tea. But then when I got to college, I started drinking coffee because freshman year was crazy. And then after, I think, sophomore year, I stopped drinking coffee and went back to strictly drinking tea. And then I got into tea leaves. Um, so, yeah, now I'm back on my coffees and stuff. But I'm excited. There are a few items. Okay, okay, okay. So the first thing we have is this tea ball infuser. And it's for if you're drinking loose leaf tea. Um, when you're drinking loose leaf tea, you just can't put it in your cup because then you'll be drinking the tea leaves. You have to put it inside of a little a reusable tea bag or a tea ball or something like that so that's what this is it's a tea ball i've always wanted one i just never got one so how it works is you pop it open and you pull it apart 
and you put a tea, uh, tablespoon of tea leaves into here. Um, so one or two tablespoons, depending on how strong you want it. And then this hook right here, if you guys can see this hook that I'm holding, it goes right over the cup so that this one can just stay inside, if that makes sense. But I'm glad to have this. I'm actually going to clean this and use this. I think I have a few more tea leaves, um, teas left that are like loose leaf tea. So I'm going to use this definitely for today. There is a working makes me not want to use this but it is a teaspoon i love the little diamond crystal on the top i i just like this oh my gosh i need to find more of these in different colors like in a gold maybe in a rose gold i have um a bunch of teacups i when i say i used to be a tea fanatic i was a tea fanatic and then there was a moment that i had where i just wanted mad teacups i love teacups like i don't mean like you know mugs i mean like actual european style teacups and i know european style doesn't make sense but when i think of teacups i think of europe and european people because they drink a lot of tea um or at least in the movies that's how they make it seem i don't know if that's like actually true but i'm pretty sure it is because i see a lot of youtubers who are from europe or parts of europe and they drink a lot of tea um so i've always wanted to go to an actual like tea experience type of thing at like some type of tea cafe or whatever what I'm saying is I have a lot of teacups and a few teaspoons and this will just go lovely with my collection and it makes me want to make sure that for 2021 I'm getting back on to my mommy weekends and basically in short what I used to do on the weekends is when my son would go to his father's house I would spend Friday to Sunday just pampering myself so like Friday night I would have a facial and drink some tea and I would bring my teacup in here my teapot in here um, and make sure I have tea and snacks for that and then on Saturdays I would do like a bubble bath take a shower then you know do a bubble bath with bath bombs and stuff like that like I would make it really really special um I haven't done that in a very long time very long time so I think for 2021 I want to get back into implementing that at least twice a month if not every weekend but um I digress this this teaspoon is gorgeous I don't know if you guys can see the floral print inside and just the detailing is amazing so I'm going to be cleaning this and using it for today most likely and then there is a tea this is the celestial seasoning tea well it's green tea with grapefruit and i like celestial seasoning but the problem is i can never find the tea that comes in the tea bag i only find the one that comes in the box that's already like open if that makes sense like it's a tea bag but it's not in a wrapping um and i know that they do sell them but i just have to find them so but i'm glad to have this because i like green um grapefruit i'm not big on green tea honestly unless it's jasmine green tea um or orange uh, there's which brand is it i think it's lipton is it lipton or is it celestial seasonings i don't know i'm gonna have to find a picture and like throw it up here but this tea this green tea is like really really good i think it's like orange blossom and jasmine green tea it's so good i'm not a big fan of green tea though i prefer black tea um and i like herbal tea and i like white teas and i even like robust but green tea i, I just can never find the right one and there's only one that i really like so i'm excited to try this one because it has grapefruit in it and i definitely do love me some grapefruit grapefruit it's amazing so we have that i just spent a long time talking about that sorry guys um so then we have this uh this is the woman of christmas series for the delilah box and i know that i signed up for the emails so i've been getting them in my email a lot about different women in the bible um this one goes through four of them which is going to be eve elizabeth anna and mary so um i like this a lot making sure there's no inf personal information so here's what it looks like when you get it and then you have the information on eve you have the information on elizabeth with some scriptures down here and some space to write if you want um you have the information on anna sorry and then you have the information on mary so i like this and i know for next year for january um, if you go to her Instagram, I'm probably going to find the link and just directly leave it. She is starting the actual series that she has emailed out into like an actual pamphlet booklet thing. And it is so gorgeous. So I'm super excited for that. Hopefully I do get to get that. But um, yeah, so now we're going to get into the box. So we have three books for this month. Um, this one is supposed to be a Hallmark holiday movie. I don't even think I read it. I mean, read it or watched it, honestly, because... I'm not big on Hallmark movies, but um, this is The Christmas Angel by Jane Moss. 
is a Christian fiction or Christian historical fiction. Um, so it says, a charming, heartwarming Christmas tale sure to delight fans of Debbie McCombrey or McComber? McComber and Richard Paul Evans about the power of family, tradition, and love. In 1875, Owen Thomas, a poor Welsh coal miner, falls in love with a beautiful London actress named Jessica Le Levery. He enchants her with the promise of the holidays they'll share after they marry. Owen carves her and Andrew to go on top of their tree, a token more meaningful to her than any engagement ring. When Jessica breaks off their romance, Owen, brokenhearted, brings the angel to America. There she looks down over the five generations, witnessing peace and war, triumphs and tragedies, reminding all who see her that Christmas is a time when families and sweethearts can come together, laughter and goodwill can lighten even the heaviest burden, and magic fills the earth. This is a story of faith and love and of the miracle that brought the angel home again. Hmm, we'll see how I'm, I, I'll read it to see if you know if I would like it, but I'm. Ooh, there are illustrations. That's so pretty. That's so nice. I like illustr. Okay, so I might read this just because of the illustrations, and it doesn't seem like it's a big book. I I don't know. We'll see. I'll I'll give it a go. So we have that. Then we have two nonfictions. This last one I'm definitely excited for because I've been eyeing it for a minute. But this one is Scoot Over and Make Some Room, Creating Space Where Everyone Belongs by Heather Avis. I think that's how you say that name, Avis. So it says, take a breath, whisper a prayer, laugh a little, and make room for the wildflowers. In a world of division and margins, those who grew a little differently are all too often shoved aside. Instagram star and mama to three adopted kids, two with Down syndrome, Heather Avis has made it her mission to introduce the world to the unique gifts of those pushed to the edges of society. Scoot over and make some room tells hilarious stories of Heather's growing kids, spontaneous dance parties, forgotten pants, and navigating the challenges and joys of parenthood. She shares heartbreaking moments when her kids were denied a place at a table and when she had to fight for their voices to be heard. With beautiful wisdom and profound convictions, this manifesto will empower you to notice who's missing in the spaces you live in and to make room for your own kids and those who need you in your open heart. This is your invitation to a table where space is unlimited and every voice can be heard because when you open your life to the wild beauty of every unique individual you'll discover your own colorful soul and extraordinary abundant heart of god um so i don't know if i'm gonna keep it it sounds like a really good book but it's not really my particular cup of tea if that makes sense um i don't know if i'll just give it a go and see how i feel about it but um, I don't think this is going to be a book that I personally will, um, I don't know what the word is. Because I don't like saying, especially when it comes to like nonfiction Christian books, I don't like saying that it's not a book that I'm going to like. But I don't think this is a book that will impact me in the way. I don't, I don't, I hope you guys get what I'm saying. But um, I definitely have to be mindful of the books that I have on my shelf because you guys can see. Um, in previous videos, I'm running out of shelf space and my biggest fear is my bookshelf collapsing in on itself one day because I have so many books. And um, I literally just went to Goodwill last weekend and donated over 40 books. I think over 40 books. I had like six bags of books that I donated. Um, so and then I also have about 15 books over there to haul. So yeah, I'm trying to be more mindful and this just I don't know. It's not screaming at me. It's not like must read. So I'm probably going to pass this along or send it to Goodwill. So we have that. But this one, I'm excited for. I'm super excited for this because this is a book by an author that I am trying to get into more of her books. I have read two books from her, I think. And I have completely loved one of her books. I'm just trying to check. Did I read two books from her? Yes, I read two from her. And I, I gave one book a five star and one like a four point something. But um, this is her nonfiction that she came out with. I think it was, was it this year or was it last year? Let's look at the copyright page because I can't remember if it was this year or last year. Yeah, it was this year. Earlier this year, she came out with this book and I really, really wanted, wanted it. Um, but this is She Walked Before Us, Grace, Courage, and Strength from 12 Women of the Old Testament by Jo Eileen Smith. And I have been dying to read this book for so long. I was going to get the ebook, but it's in the box and I'm so excited. And this is why I love the Delilah box because I normally get books that are on my um, TBR, books that I plan to buy or books that I've already read and loved and can pass on to other people. So, um, yeah, this one goes through Miriam, Ruth, Rahab, Hannah, Deborah. Uh, I, I never know if it's Michael, Mikal. I don't, I don't know. 
I know that she's uh, Saul's daughter. So Saul's daughter, Abigail and Bathsheba. And that is not all of them. Let me see. Let me see. So we have Miriam, uh, Miriam, Rahab, Zabora, Ruth, Naomi, Hannah, Penina, Penina. I think that's how you say that word, that name. Um, Saul's daughter can't pronounce her name. Abigail. Uh, he, I, I don't know how to say that other name. I'll throw it on the screen. Yep, I can't pronounce those names. I'm not even gonna attempt it. But here it is. Can you guys see that? Hopefully, you see those names. Yeah. Um. So I am excited. Is this an interactive? It's an interactive book. Y'all know I love a good interactive book. And when I mean interactive, I mean like it asks you questions um, at the end. So at the end of every chapter, there's um, a taking it further section where there are three questions that it will ask you. And it gives you scriptures um, throughout. And at the beginning, it will tell you what to what it's based on. So I would basically go and read um, for this person here I will go and read the scripture for that and then do this little study on it so I'm excited this is about how many pages about 250 200 250 oh it's about yeah about 200 pages 197 194 pages so I'm super super excited for this um and yeah I know that there's another one when life doesn't match your dreams I think I have that as an arc from NetGalley um, but yeah, I definitely wanted to get more into her writing in general, both her fiction and nonfiction. So I'm super excited for this. So this box in general has been amazing. Um, you got three books this month, two nonfictions and a fiction. Um, this is a Christian historical fiction, which I'm going to try it out. We'll see how I feel about it. And then two nonfictions. I'm definitely going to keep this and read it. This one I'm most likely going to pass along. I'm not interested in it, which I don't like saying that, but I mean, everyone has different interests. So this is not a book that I'm really interested in right now. Um, I think the topic is amazing though. Then you got some tea with some tea essentials, which is a tea infuser ball with a teaspoon. I'm here for it. You got this little educational pamphlet, uh, educational pamphlet, no, little study pamphlet on four women of Christmas, which is great, especially considering the season. Um, the notepad, the pen, two bookmarks, which I think bookmarks are essential, and the candles. Let me see. Yeah, so I can smell this one a little bit more. Definitely watery. Definitely a watery scent. So um, we have River North. I'm trying to cover my face up. River North, which I definitely will probably have to buy a big jar of. Why did I just <laughs> turn the candle around and sniff the back? And sugar cookie, which smells delicious. So I love the box. It's amazing. It's simple and um, it's everything. And then you get the little candy canes, which I'm probably going to give to my son. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you guys are interested in this shirt, I will leave it linked down below. It's on the um, blog already. And if you are interested in any of these gorgeous pens, then I will leave the Instagram down below for my sis that does sell it. Um, she is going to i think she i don't know if she's gonna have another sell because i did snag these when she was having a five dollar deal um i think it was about black friday she had the deal and i bought a bunch of stuff a bunch of stuff um so yeah again i will have a haul slash how to video on how i wear my brooches because i never used to care for brooches i thought brooches were for old grandmas i'm not gonna lie because my grandmother and i would see her wear those so i always thought it was for like old women but I know that in the fashion industry, they are definitely um, coming out with, you know, high-end brooches. And honestly, I'm not about to spend two, three, four hundred dollars on a brooch. Just, it's not going to happen for some costume jewelry. No, thank you. Um, so, I love these. Actually, let me take it off this shirt now. So, you guys can see. I have another bow from her as well. But here it is. Isn't this just gorgeous? It is so, like... I love the rhinestones and the pearls. I'm here for it, which is why I put on my pearl earrings. And then this one is literally just a pearl on two sides. And I paired these two together because this one is silver. The other ones that I have that have pearls on them are actually gold. And I just thought these two would go together nicely. So, yeah, we have that. And yes, I did change my nails, um, which I kind of like them. I was saving these for the Christmas holiday just because I felt like burgundy, maroon, and um, that marble would really look nice for the season. So I did switch my nails up. Um, these were actually Halloween-based nails, but there was no, like, spookiness to it. The only thing is that these two do glow in the dark, um, which is fine. It does, I like, you know, it doesn't bother me. But um, I think the color is definitely great for the winter months. 
so yeah that is pretty much it again these glasses if you guys are interested i will leave it linked down below i did get these glasses from firmu.com which i have worked with them before i've purchased my own from them before um so i'll leave a link down below uh, as well as the shirt but yeah that is it definitely check out the delilah box i highly recommend it i'm always talking about it and raving about it with you guys many of you have gotten the box for yourselves for loved ones and are enjoying the boxes so top tier a tier for me and um that is it so i'm gonna go go do some bible study literally i'm about to go sit over there and do some bible study and um i will see you guys in the next video bye